come back with part two of the Jezebel spirit and the spirit of Jesus Christ. Now they said, don't speak to us these smooth words. Don't, don't speak to us, uh, sorry, the word of Jesus. Don't tell us that you need to repent. Don't tell us that you need to seek the Lord with all of your heart. Don't have a burden for souls. Just speak to us smooth words. We want to hear how God want to bless us. We want to hear how God love us. We want to hear how uh, God has a blessing with your name on it. We want to hear all these smooth, smooth words that tickle our ears. But you may tickle someone's ears to hell. We need to be very serious about God. And so they said that... Uh, Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from us before us. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because he despised this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a bridge ready to fall. So they will fall. God is going to send a lying spirit on them. You can, you can research that in Jeremiah. A lying spirit on them. And these prophets think that what they're doing was is fine. And they think that, you know, I am. they're they almost persuaded. They're so persuaded that they are living a good life. They're so persuaded because they said we have done all these good works. And we have done all these great things. And God is with us and he's blessing us. I, I You know, I, I'm a prosperity preacher. And when I preach prosperity... God blessed me and look, I have many houses and many cars and I'm, I, I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm fine, I'm, it's, it's well with me. And, 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 and they have this false pretense because they think that uh, prosperity and wealth means that you're godly. I think they're foolish. They're so foolish. So God said, all the confidence that you've got is going to fall. We're just waiting. One day, all of these confidence that people have out of Jesus Christ is going to fall. And many are falling right now because they, 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 they refuse to take heed to the word of God. And I want to go to the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And we're going to look at the beautiful doctrine. The beautiful doctrine. Not like the Jezebel doctrine. The children of disobedience. The children that, you know don't want to hear the word of God. They don't want to hear um, the, about the, the seers. They said, seers, don't speak to us what is right. This is not the doctrine of Jesus Christ. They are mixing up with the true believers of Jesus Christ. And listen to what Titus 2 says. Not purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Lord, Savior, in all things. So we need to practice the doctrine of Jesus Christ in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. What is the grace of God? God has given us a time frame. He has appeared His grace and His mercy to every human being that... Bring us salvation. That grace has brought salvation. God has mercy on us. And if we will repent and turn to God and confess our sins and come to God with our whole heart, that grace has, uh, that bring us salvation has appeared to all men. Every man has this grace. Teaching us that, denying ungodliness. It is unlike the Jezebel spirit. The Jezebel spirit don't want you to deny ungodliness. The Jezebel spirit wants you to be disobedient to the word of God. They don't, the Jezebel spirit don't want you to um, repent and humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. They are rebellious. They are against the word of God. They're saying, we don't want the seers to see anymore. Don't see anymore. The men and women that are praying and God is showing them the way to holiness. And Jezebel's priest said, go away, get out of the way. But the 
doctrine of Jesus Christ, which appears to all men, is saying, denying all ungodliness, worldly lust. The Jezebel spirit said, your blessing is coming now. Run for your blessing. Come on, uh, 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 sow the seed and you will be rich. You will have lots of wealth. They're saying, uh, 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 you know, um, all this covetous spirit is in the church. And the, this, this spirit, Jezebel spirit, is so rife in the church today. And many people are falling for it. There are so many blind Christians sitting in the church. And the Jezebel spirit that brings covetousness, it brings uh, uh, ungodliness, it brings worldly lust. You cannot look at a Christian and they are just like the world. They are just like the world. They think like the world. They love money like the world. They are not denying on. They are not denying the world. They love the world. They embrace the world. My friends, the Jezebel spirit is on you if you embrace the world. So they. The, so the grace of God, the doctrine of Jesus Christ, allow us to deny ungodliness. Denying ungodliness, move it away from us, and all worldly lust, move it away from us, that we should live soberly. Soberly. Let no one tell you any foolishness. Soberly. Righteously. And godly. When? In the sweet by and by? When you go to heaven? No. In this present world. The doctrine of Jesus Christ is this. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Can you do it on your own? No. If you follow Jesus Christ and obey him fully, you will do it through him. Looking for that blessed hope. You want to have hope? Look to Jesus, a blessed hope. That the glorious appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the, the, the doctrine of Jesus Christ is setting our eyes on Christ alone. Looking for that uh, the, the home that the builder and founder is God. Not on this world. The Jezebel spirit is saying, Oh, I must have my, ble my best life now. I'm go and get prosperity. Go and have your best life now. Go and 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 sow this, and a, 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 a thousand um, fall is gonna come on you. You are going to get so much more blessing, and they fleece the sheep of God. How foolish! Christians, rise up. Read your Bibles. Repent. Come out of the Jezebel spirit. There's a spirit that is. The church has sold out themselves to Satan and many people are false in the church. Uh, there are many good churches, but I'm telling you, majority of them are false. They are sold out to Satan. You're being sold and not even know you are being sold. Uh-oh. Yes, I say that with boldness and with the Spirit of God right now. Many Christians have been sold to the devil by their leaders and they don't know that they're being sold. So get out. Run for your life. Turn to God. Repent. Seek God. Follow the doctrine of Jesus Christ and stop from following the doctrine of Jezebel. God said, I give Jezebel time to repent, and she did not. Now, repent, dear friends. Come out from the Jezebel spirit. It's taken many to hell. He has taken many to hell already, and it will take you. Who redeem us from all iniquity. Jesus redeemed his people from all iniquity. I believe so. Because he never stopped cleansing me from all unrighteousness. So dear friends, know the difference between the Jezebel spirit and the spirit of of Jesus Christ, the Jezebel doctrine and the doctrine of Jesus Christ. You want to follow doctrine? Follow the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Walk good.